All right, next week, you definitely want to look up. One of the longest lunar eclipses of the century is coming next Friday, and here to talk about how you can watch the eclipse is Dean Regas from the uh, Cincinnati Observatory. Dean, so good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. My pleasure. Good to see you, too. All right. Uh, let's talk about this lunar eclipse. The first, uh, explain for our viewers uh, what exactly is a lunar eclipse. Well, so this is the time when uh, the sun, earth, and moon all line up. So when you look at the moon, it'll look nice and full, but then you'll start to see the shadow creep across it. That's the shadow of the earth blocking out some of this moonlight. And it is definitely one of the best uh, sky shows out there. Now, it's my understanding this is a partial lunar eclipse, so uh, it won't totally block out uh, the moon, but it, it should be substantial, right? Right. I mean, this is one where it's going to be about 97 percent blocked. So you might not get those really dark colors like you get those dark reds and usually with the total lunar eclipse. But I think this is going to be pretty close. I think definitely the, the far edge is going to look a little pinkish. You might get some colors to it, but just watching that shadow slowly go across is really fun. And for me, it's, you know, the, the, when it starts, it's really cool. And then uh, when it's in the deepest part of the shadow, that's where you might see a little bit of colors uh, change in here. All right, now it is a lunar eclipse, which means it's going to happen while the moon is up. <laughs> uh, uh, but this is going to happen more toward the morning hours, right? Uh, uh, what's the best way for people uh, to, to see it? Well, there's the big, uh, the big problem is it is early in the morning, at least for the Cincinnati area. It starts at a convenient 218 a.m. And I know you all in the morning show are there like all the time at that time. But 218 <laughs> is when it starts. The deepest part of the eclipse is going to be right around four o'clock. And then the eclipse ends at about 547 a.m. So that means you either got to stay up really late. That's what I'll probably do or uh, get up really early to check it out. But uh, I think the beginning is, is the best and then also uh, the deepest part of the eclipse. So maybe set your alarm for four o'clock and take a look and, uh, you know, you could look out the window or something, go back to sleep after that. But it should be a fun one. Oh, absolutely. All right. Uh, now we want to talk about uh, something that you're involved in. Uh, you've been named astronomer in residence at the Grand Canyon. Tell us what that's all about. Oh, my gosh, this is so exciting. Uh, the, the Grand Canyon National Park out in Arizona has a new program called Astronomer in Residence. Basically, they invite uh, astronomers to apply and see if they could you know, to live and work there at the Grand Canyon. And they selected me uh, after this national search. And so I'm heading out to the Grand Canyon to live and work there for a month. Uh, so I'll be living right on the edge of the canyon, doing astronomy programs, showing people views through the telescopes, uh, doing what I do. And then uh, fingers crossed, I'm going to walk all the way down to the uh, uh, Colorado River, do some programs down there. And so wish me luck. Hopefully uh, getting down those OK, even better. Hopefully I make it back up. So uh, <laughs> uh, be my first time going to the bottom of the Grand Canyon. But I'm very excited about this. Oh, it's just a spectacular uh, area to be in. Now, we're all under the same sky, but uh, it will it look different for you uh, there uh, at the Grand Canyon than it would be than it would look from here. Well, the big difference is there's less light pollution. So you get this really, really dark sky. So uh, you should be able to see the Milky Way stretching from one side of the sky to the other. Also be there during the lunar eclipse on the 19th. So hopefully get some even better views there. But I think just the setting is so amazing. And the people that come through the Grand Canyon, uh, they're just so excited to be there. And seeing the night sky like it should be. Uh, that's the, something I'm really looking forward to. It's a it's a chance of a lifetime to to live out there for a while. So I'm getting my uh, my national parks experience. Absolutely. All right, Dean Regas, from the Cincinnati Observatory. Thank you so much for joining us, and congratulations on being appointed uh, the uh, astronomer in residence there at the Grand Canyon. Oh, thank you so much. Take care.